All of us, let's speak to reality. Our concerns, the reality of our concerns is the American dream, the Aussie dream, Australian dream. What is our concern? Let's not fake, you know, uh, feelings. Everyone wants a nice house, double story house, a beautiful wife, mashallah, beautiful shiny kids, a nice pet, a dog or a cat in the house to feed every day, a nice pool in the house will be sensational, a beautiful car. This is our dream. Every day you wake up every day in the morning and this is your concern. This is why working 12, 16 hours a day, double shift, triple shift, to make more money to fulfill your dream. But you're struggling to wake up for Fajr. But you're struggling to give da'wah, you're shy. We have monsters, mashallah, going, taking, you know, uh, taking protection money on the street, but he's shy to give da'wah. He won't call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He doesn't have that courage. This is why we say awareness is important. Yes, we are outside there to save humanity from the injustice it is in and spread the word of Allah peacefully. We're not saying, oh, we're going to force people, we're going to kill people. La ikraha fi deen. But yes, we are out there to spread the message of Islam, and this is my responsibility. It's not our responsibility. Most people are confused. They think this is the Ummah's responsibility. And then the result of the, you know, the, the thinking is wrong. How come people say, oh, you know, the Ummah should do this. Our rulers should do this. The ulama should do this. Mashayikh should do this. Leaders should do this. Associations should do this. You know, uh, community leaders should do this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on judgment day will not ask you, what did the president of Egypt now do? What did, you know, the, the rulers of the Arab world do? Allah will not ask you on judgment day, what did, you know, what did the ulama of your time do? Allah will ask you, what did you do? What did you do for Islam? What did you do to the brothers in Syria? What do you brothers in Palestine? How did you sleep at night knowing that Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is occupied? Well, how did you sleep at night? This is the question you will be asked. So it's important, number one, to understand our deen is not only five times prayer in the masjid, praying to Hajj at night. It's an important part of our deen. Yes, but our deen is more than this. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم Prophet Muhammad Sallam said in the authentic hadith, ما من نبي بعثه الله قبل every prophet that came before me, except that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave him disciples and companions from his ummah. They followed his path, they followed his teachings, they followed his way. After these people die, after this generation of pious companions die. After them a generation comes. They do what they are not told to, you know, or they say, but they don't act. They do things they weren't ordered to do. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم فمن جاهدهم بيده فهو مؤمن whoever struggles against them with his hand then he is a believer ومن جاهدهم بلسانه فهو مؤمن whoever struggles against them with his tongue then he is a believer ومن جاهدهم بقلبه فهو مؤمن whoever struggles against them with his heart then he is a believer قال صلى الله عليه وسلم after this وليس وراء ذلك من الإيمان حبة خردل Beyond this rank, beyond this position, there is not an atom of faith in your heart. You salat in the masjid, and you fast, mashallah, and your wife, mashallah, is covered, and everything is beautiful and set. But you have no concern for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu and you're not working to establish deen on earth. There is something wrong with your iman, something is wrong with your faith. And they have convinced us it's all right. Nowadays, ask, ask anyone. Brother, are you a good Muslim or a hypocrite? He goes, brother, alhamdulillah, I pray. Alhamdulillah, I fast. Alhamdulillah, I pray my zakat. I establish the five pillars of Islam. The biggest misconception we have is deen is the five pillars of Islam. No, no. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, buniya al-islamu ala khams. Islam as a building was established on five pillars. When you moved to your house, did you move into a skeleton of foundation and a couple of beams? No, the building is far more, far more bigger. It's a bigger thing than the five pillars. But the, the Islam as a building, a massive skyscraper, stands on these five main pillars. It doesn't mean if I do these five, that's it. I'm set going to, you know, the highest levels of paradise. We are responsible and Allah will ask us. So we have to be aware and spread this awareness. Ilm has to come in the Ummah of Muhammad I am responsible. Allah will ask me and I spread this responsibility among the Ummah of Muhammad